as we continue along in the fall 2019 season, we get to the A division where it's been pretty competitive. The top two teams face each other. It is Big Hawks and Lock Monsters. Welcome to the RSHL. And this is a weird way to start the season. Both the Big Hawks and the Lock Monsters coming in with 1-0-1 records. And even more odd enough, they both tied against the Whalers. So, so they're both tied at three points and the Whalers is just about to get their first win of the season. So for the time being, is going to be in first place. But of course, that's not going to last for long unless we get another tie. But the Big Hawks, after many years of frustration, finally get their first Carolina Cup and now look to defend it for the first time. But of course, the Log Monsters having a pretty strong start to their season as they're looking for their first A Division uh, Carolina Cup. They've won so many B Divisions. And now we may be looking at vintage, vintage form again. As we'll go to the breakdown, we'll start with the Big Hawks. And for this one, we'll go with Jacob Ennis. He's been making himself pretty comfortable in the A Division. Two goals, one assist. Uh, not the points leader of the team, but the Big Hawks have been pretty even along the score sheet. However, there's been some weaknesses along the defense as John Cowan really hasn't really been having a good season, uh, at least start to the season, going in with just a 767 save percentage. For the Lock Monsters, we are going to go with Ryan Shafter in the net, going in with a very strong 929 save percentage. So quite the opposite, and not only that, the Log Monsters are bringing in some new blood into into the team, and you'll recognize them from some past tournaments coming from Charlotte, the Hale Brothers. So can't wait to see them play. Again, their scoring has been pretty even. It's been no further than two points for anyone among the team. So with that, the ball drop for the A Division is next. officials for this game. Greg Perlanti at center, Paul Polka on the boards. If both teams now battling for first place. As of right now, the Whalers won their game as a shot right off the bat from Brian Hooks goes high and wide. The Whalers won their game handily, so for the time being, they're in first place. But that's not gonna last for long. Unless a tie occurs here, they will not hold it today. It's a shot, and that goes wide up. Cowan rebound chance got tied up by Hooks. Hooks from the corner will try to look for an opening and finds Tim Corrigan, who will reverse and will send it up to Steve Nato. Misses him and hops over Chris Valley, who will chase this one down. Chris Young chasing him around and will try to feed it around the boards. Mitch Stevens on the attack. Has an option for Edgecombe, decides to go ahead with it, and Cowan will play it away over to Nato. Nato on a three on two. Shot and hit a stick that hit the stick of Di Piero and goes to the ceiling. With the game of the week. One by the Big Hawks, crosses over to Brian Hooks as Riordan will cross the, the line. They already gained the zone. Riordan, and whoa! Riordan holding off his stick, but still got through Schaffner. And the Big Hawks have a one nothing lead off an unconventional goal. That will be Matt Riordan's second of the season and not in the way that he expected, but he'll gladly take it. 
as Frost will go over to Deep Hero, who will just tip it in to Cowan and drops it off to Hooks. Getting tied up with one of the Hales and trying to break through is Riordan. Tried to get a breakaway, he won't get one here as they'll head to the corner. Crosses over to Riordan, getting pestered by Kevin Frost. They battle for it. But the Hales get rid of it. Driven to the boards. We continue on. There is a penalty coming up. And it is a cross checking penalty against the Big Hawks. One of the. Oh no, that's going against the Log Monsters. They're calling it against Kevin Frost. I certainly thought it was one of the Big Hawks. So a cross checking penalty on Kevin Frost. Which that, I was a little surprised by that because. Hale was driven to the boards. I thought that was the penalty, but that was, that was something I did not see. So the Big Hawks go on the power play instead of the penalty kill. As Hooks will reset as they go back on the blue line. Mayo crosses, gets around Valley, but Valley not fooled by that and will chip it out. I'll definitely have to look at the replay because I certainly did not see it. I was more paying attention to the boards as that would be cleared out once again. As Hooks will reset. And a reminder that the floating blue line rule is our new rule for this season. That thin line, that's the one they got across to enter the zone. And being pushed off the ball is Hale getting tied up with Corrigan. His brother coming in to help him the way, out. Baby. Stevens on the attack short-handed wide of the net. One minute. Halfway into the power play. And so far the PK unit doing their job. Turns it over and chips it in to Cowan who will drop it off. Gets around. Help out, help him out. Schaffner going aggressive and just got to the ceiling. That's a lucky break for Schaffner. Talk to him, boys. Yeah, I'll come out for you when you finish up. Yeah. One by the Big Hawks racing back. Takes a shot off the crossbar. That actually hit the corner of the frame through traffic. Schaffner did not see it through the screen. With five seconds left, Frost getting ready to come out of the box. As they gain possession, Frost out of the box back to full strength. Reordan for the Big Hawks. From the circle, shot saved by Schaffner. Attempted clear, fails. Hooks with the keep in, shot going high. Shepard feeds up to Riordan in the left corner. Riordan getting pestered. Trying to shake off Edgecomb. Riordan going around and now finally gives it up as that is lofted by Tony DiGiacomo. And he's wearing the full cage this game. And gives a big slap of the stick up to Edgecomb. Now return. And plays off the boards. Hit the safety net. Stays in play. And down it goes for the Big Hawks. Because they will make a change. You got to be careful here. And they get away with the... They get the change legally, that is. Ennis tries to clear. Fails. Frost to Edgecomb, poked away, and the Lock Monsters have to reset. Gave it away, Rainers with control. Rainers driving up, shot blocked by Kevin Frost, attempted clear, fails. Young with control, shot, a save by, by Ryan Schaffner, another save off the rebound from NATO. Left corner, getting tied up, Ennis goes across. Corrigan with a shot going high and caught by Ryan Schaffner. And by 
by the way, that is Derek and Josh Hale that you are seeing in the darker blue jerseys. Came from Charlotte to join us. They've already played a game with the uh, Lock Monsters and so far a good start to their RSHL careers. Yeah! Attempted it clear fails. Derek Hale has one goal. Josh Hale has an assist. As a technical clear does get across the line as Corrigan took something and wasn't sure what it was that slowed him down, but he does get possession. Blocked by Kevin Frost. Attempts to go forward with it. Still has possession, goes down. Do we have a call? No, I don't see a hand up. So we continue on. Frost was trying to draw a trip but the hands stay down. Nato from the board. Again, pestered by Hale. Hale spins around, gets control, goes up to his brother. Up off the boards, Ennis tries to take it away. As both Hales trying to bow for it from Ennis as Ennis got tied up and gets a little tap in his shoulder as they will make another change as Sijakimo will cross over. Hale again gets interrupted by Rainers and clear down the floor for an ice. You hear that? You good? Blown by the Bayhawks, attempted clear, fails, tied up in the slot. Back it goes to Stevens, who will keep it in. Tries to go for Edgecombe in the corner. Cut off by Hooks, will tap it over to Lee Rainers. Trying to get away from Joey Murphy and takes a stick, gets it away. Kept in by Mitch Stevens, along the left board. And attempted shot is off a stick and into the ceiling, face off to the right of Cowan. One by Riordan and back to Jacob Ennis. Tries to stretch it up. Looking for a three on one, makes it three on two. Shot just off the pad of Shafter behind the net and he will hold on. Won by the Big Hawk, Shepard goes back, trying to look for some help, and here it comes, Joey Murphy the other way. Murphy centers off the foot of Edgecombe, and a attempt to clear is successful. Stevens has to head back, Riordan looming over, trying to pressure him to give it up, does, and up to Ennis again. Off a of foot, and can't get control. Back the other way for the Big Hawks as the Lock Monsters just completed the change. Shot safe by Schaffner as a defenseman loses his stick. I'm trying to see who that is, but Schaffner covers up. I think that was Stevens that lost his stick. Another face off one by the Big Hawks. And now a race, Brian Hooks will win it out and will cut off Hale as he'll play around to Ennis. See Cowan giving directions, now plays it back over to Brian Hooks. Stretches up to Chris Young, goes right to uh, Tim Corrigan. Now a race between him and Di Piero. Di Piero wins the race. Play off the boards to Hale. The Hale brothers over to the left. We're getting for a shot from Barbado and a save from Cowan. Barbado again. Goes up, point blank shot, rebound, another save by Cowan. As they battle for it on the end boards up to Tim Corrigan and now we'll play left over to Steve Nato. Nato, here's the call, a shot from Rainer, saved by Schaffner. And a one-timer fails on Tim Corrigan. 
The ball hopped his stick. He was in the right place, but didn't get a clean hit on it. As both teams make a change. Two and a half remaining in the first period. Slap pass all the way up to Nato. Misses him, and it's an icing. They try to catch them behind the center line. This is one of the things that the teams have to adapt to. Now more room for the offense to make stretch passes. Another face-off win for Riordan. They try to go for Shepard, misses him, and Valley has to take a look and sees him coming. The plays off the boards, trying to look for Digiacomo, instead leaves it. Kevin Ebner leaves a shot, is blocked. Ebner again behind the net, taken away by Brian Hooks. Hooks sees and a four checker goes ahead. Good poke check from Valley, up over to Murphy. Back it goes. Ebner up to Edgecombe. Edgecombe reverses. Back to the left hand board. Back it goes to Digiacomo. Shot is blocked. Edgecombe and pestered by a couple of white jerseys. Around it goes. Attempt to clear is successful and now he's between Digiacomo. It looks like David Lane getting tied up. Digiacomo has it. Attempt to clear, goes up to Edgecombe, crosses the line, and it's back to Rainers with a minute remaining in the first period. Nato crosses, Rior in with control, rearranges to Lane, trying to drive the net, can't get a clean shot, goes on the other side of the net. Rior in again from the corner, shot is stopped by Schaffner. They cycle one more time. Looking for Ennis. Three blue jerseys coming up and they force him out. 25 seconds left as Murphy trying to pressure Cowan and gets it off. Back it goes to Cowan behind the net. Rainers forced to play it around. Nato may have a chance on a two on one. Lost control. Mitch Stevens trying to. By some time, time for one chance for the Lock Monsters to try to get on the board. They'll loft it to the opposite corner. There won't be any time as we go to the first intermission. So one goal, and it was not your typical goal. It rolled in, just fooled everybody. As Riordan gets the one goal for the Big Hawks, one nothing after one. We get ready for the second period. John Cowan just uh, making the final preparations. Riordan with the lone goal, and it was one that was rolling through everybody's feet. So it was a weird goal, but it's one that the Big Hawks will take any day, especially when you're fighting for the top spot in the A division. And remember that at the end of the season, the teams play a three-game series, just like we saw in the spring season as it reaches Ryan Schaffner, and he'll just take the face off to his left. And uh, speaking of, there is a bit of news uh, from the A division uh, concerning the Empire. Whitley Nichols is out due to an ACL injury she is due for surgery and will be out for the remainder of the season in fact she's going to be out for quite a while and there is a little more which we'll talk about at the second intermission but for now shot into the opposite corner misses corgan with control tries a shot blocked by frost getting tied up behind the net looking for a wrap around off a of body out it goes rainers will go for it but it's an icing Now next month, we will be in Tampa for the summer shootout, uh, or it's the uh, Sunshine Shootout Tournament. We have the games from last season if you want to take a look at that, but it's pretty much just like our games here. But with the loss of uh, Nichols, 
That is going to be a big gap in the, their offense. But a chance from DiGiacomo, blocked from Rainers. Lane on a three on two, crosses the blue line, takes the shot, glove save from Shafter, he'll hold on. But the team uh, going to Tampa will be a mix of both RSHL and CSHL players, so we will have some Charlotte players in with us. And a chance just going wide. Stevens attempts to clear off the foot of Shepard. Back to Riordan, returns to Shepard in the left corner. Behind the net, looking for the wraparound, could not get it through. Shafter just got that foot down in time. Three on two the other way, just got through the blue line. Lost control though. Lane over to Ennis, just out of his reach. Taken away by Valley as they will make one change. Rainers left to Jacob Ennis. They cross the line, so they are free to move in. Shot is blocked. It looked like by Mitch Stevens it was. Riordan backhands it up to Ennis. Shot tipped, and it was stopped by Schaffner. That tip was actually from his own player as it was tipped on the way, so no icing. Nato will cross over to Riordan. Crossing up to David Lane. Riordan gets through the blue line, has one more to beat. Shot blocker save by Schaffner. So he's just pretty much moving on from the bad goal. He let up the Hale brothers with a chance. Shot score! Yeah. Big goal for the Lock Monsters. The Hale brothers come through with a goal as NATO getting tied up. And the uh, Hale brother that has scored the goal will find out which one that is. As that one is down for an icing. <laughs> Cowan dropped his stick. Yeah, you guys know which Hale Brother that is, the um, the one the greenish blue? Uh, yeah. Nope. I can't tell. Josh is there. And around it goes. And no one available for the Lock Monsters. Tim Corrigan gets it up to NATO. Can't get any control. Shot! And a save off the blocker hand of Schaffner. Actually, both of them, yeah. One by the Big Hawks. They've been winning a lot of face-offs, but so far the Log Monsters have been adapting to their strategy. Attempted staring pass off of foot. It looks like it went off a of deep Piero centers. Shot score! Steve Nato from the circle and gets the Big Hawks the lead back 2-1. Well, what they're asking, uh, which one is this one? Oh, one. Oh, one. Josh. 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 Mitch Stevens, he goes to retrieve his stick. That leaves an open man in front. And by the way, it was Josh Hale that scored the, the goal for the Lock Monsters. And yeah, that would be his... Get back to it. Try and see if that is his first goal, and it, and it is. So his first RSHL goal. So now joins his brother. 
as the Big Hawks reset nearing the halfway point of the second period. A wide open chance shot saved by Schaffner. What are you doing? Let's go. The defense just let him open and tipped on Ned and Schaffner bails him out. What happened to the defense there? No one was covering the slot. High up and the Lock Monsters temporarily had possession, but Nato fights back. Trying to get around Derek Hale off the side of the net. Point blank chance, can't get it on net. Young goes back, looking for hooks, but could not find him. Ennis forced to go back, and everyone tags up on the blue line. Frost will retreat behind his net. Corrigan on approach, and cleared up, but misses everybody. It's an icing. Won by the Big Hawks. It's Ennis. Goes back to the left corner. Di Piero trying to cut him off. Does get away, but runs into Chris Young. Derek Hale going left. Barbado. Back to Frost. They gain the zone. From the board, he'll try a shot off the stick of hooks. There's Josh Hale. Backhand save by Cowan. Well, Cowan has been performing much better than he has the first two games. They're looking for a high stick call, none provided. So we continue on. Corrigan off the back of the net. Fighter crosses Josh Hale. Good block on the wraparound. Derek Hale up to Josh Hale. Drops to Derek. Try to get across the line. Were they on side? Yes. But it goes into the ceiling and a face off. One by the Big Hawks, backhand by Hooks, just off the stick of Ryan Schaffner. Riordan circling around on the right corner, back to Hooks, shot and blocked. That's got to sting. As I've mentioned many times, Brian Hooks has one of the hardest shots in the league. Up to Edgecombe with a chance if he can get around Hooks. Center zone, no one available. Now pull it back. David Lane stretches up, knocked down by Valley. Off the board, back on the attack is Edgecombe. Trying to find a way around Hooks, crosses over. Finds Digiacomo with a shot, goes wide. Back it goes, Shepard with control. Clears out and it is Mitch Stevens resetting for the Lock Monsters. Now goes back to up to Edgecomb, over stretches it. Back it goes to Valley and out of play. Valley sends it out and this will go into the Lock Monster zone. Another face-off win for the Big Hawks. They've been dominating the face-off circle today. Kevin Frost on the attack. Now goes up to Patrick Barbado. Crosses the zone. So now they're free to move around. Up to Frost. Senders tried to look for Derek Hale. Could not find him. Goes back to Frost. Josh Hale has the one goal for the Lock Monsters. Now drop pass to Deep Piero, backhands it up. Shot from Derek Hale is blocked. And did they go through? No, but it did not matter as Ennis finishes off the clearing attempt. Deep Piero up to Derek Hale, off the foot of Matt Riordan. Riordan centers up off of Corrigan. Corrigan going down, it looked like he was trying to draw a call. But he is shaken up, he is down, but play continues for now. 
So now a temporary power play, essentially, and a shot going high from Deep Piero as Corrigan makes it to the bench. And Shepard, with a partial attempt, goes left to Steve Nato, could not get a shot on. Derek Hill going right. Back to Derek, shot going wide of Cowan. Young over to Lee Rayners, approaching two minutes remaining in the second period. Sally with a blind attempt goes over to Mitch Stevens. Stretch pass misses and it is an icing. I should have ran it first. Let's go, though. That should be a reissue. One again by the Big Hawks. Ennis with a shot save by Schaffner. Tries again. This time goes corner. Chris, they center! Mitch Stevens with control, trying to shake off Shepard. Behind the net, nearly lost control. Now gets away from Shepard. Stretch pass over to Edgecombe. Edgecombe driving the net. Stopped by Ennis, hearing the call from Murphy. Off the side of the net as Hooks goes up to Shepard. Stretch pass, glove down by Valley. Good keep in. Stevens got a poke check from Shepard and out it goes. Lock Monster is forced to reset. Less than a minute remaining in the second period. Stretch pass, try to go for Murphy, misses him. No icing here, play continues. Attempt to center off the back of the net. Murphy again, tries to go back to Derek Hale, getting tied up with hooks, and everyone digging in, and they will take the face off as they will push it in the back of the net. Let's go, let's go! Come on, get that rebound. Well, so far, the pace has picked up. Steve Piero with a shot going wide. And Cowan dives out to cover, and we got time for one more face-off. One more, one more, let's go! Step in. Tie up. DiGiacomo can't get it through, and out it goes. And that will kill off the rest of the time as Di Piero just focuses on getting away from David Lane, and he will indeed kill the rest of the clock. So, offense started to pick up some good attempts, but it's still a close game. 2-1, Big Hawks after two. As we mentioned earlier, uh, we will be in Tampa on October 18th through 20th. And as I mentioned during the second period, a bit of a loss as uh, Willie Nichols unable to play due to an ACL injury and we are we do have some details as to who's on the roster but we'll save that for another day as Di Piero gets it up to Derek Hale lost control for a moment gets it to his brother Josh Hale drop pass to Di Piero stretches up center to Derek goes left over to Patrick Barbado poke check as Ennis trying to protect that ball. As Barbado just trying to work it, trying to be careful with the hands, tries to not hold him. Ennis the other way, off the turnover. Stretch pass, it goes up to Corrigan, and he'll have to race down Kevin Frost. They battle for, for in the right corner. Corrigan trying to protect that ball, but can't. And it hit a stick, so it's a race between Hooks and Josh Hale. Hooks will win the battle. He was in a better position on the inside route. Derek Hale with a shot just wide of the net. And bodies tumbling as both Josh Hale and Brian Hooks just bumping each other near the end boards. Chris Valley from behind his net, and now stretched up. Tried to go for Josh Hale, could not find him. Lane with a shot wide of the net. Tied up, Lane centers. Leaves it for Young, shot is blocked. 
Now back in the C division, last season, Chris Valley was one of the only ones that joined the 20 point club. And now he's pretty much testing his skills in the highest level as Murphy getting tied up with Lee Rainers and now getting some help behind the net. Young looking for Nato along the boards in front of the Big Hawks bench and he'll just push it down. Frost looks and now he'll send it around looking for Mitch Stevens. He will get there. Murphy gets across the line, takes a shot off the glove of Cowan. Edgecombe switches places, but gave it up. Di Piero forced to hold on while everyone tags up. Could not get the pass on target. Riordan breaks through, but it bounces over to Schaffner. With three minutes gone in the third period. One by the Lock Monsters. They got to start winning those face off battles. Patrick Barbado on the left side looking at Ennis, gets cut off, lost control. And now the back check starting to become an issue for the Lock Monsters. Di Piero to Derek Hale, lost control, trying to salvage it. He does. Goes right to Josh Hale, now crosses. Barbado from the board, shot wide of the net. Trying to get a rebound, can't get it off. Pestered by hooks. And he'll clear down the floor and it's an icing. Won by the Lock Monsters. Lost control for a moment. Josh Hale tried to go back, but it turns into a one on one. Valley and Nato. Nato's going to peel off as Valley will just play off the boards for Stevens with Young on approach, starting to pass for him on the four check. They do clear and now race the other way. But Ennis is going to easily win this battle. Lane tries to center up, blocked by Derek Hale. Derek trying to hold on, trying to protect the ball, and now sees Nato on the other end, and now goes up to Josh, gets around hooks, partial two on two, trying to center up, here's a shot, yeah. score! Patrick Hooks up to David Lane. Well, just put one on net. Stick to side by Schaffner. Pops out in front of the slot, trying to get it away. Does Edgecombe looks for Murphy, stretches down. Race between him and Rainers. Murphy had it for a moment, now gets it away. Did Giacomo with control? Fakes the shot and it goes back to Frost. Shot high in the net! In the slot! Chaos by the net, but the Big Hawks have control. Frost takes a look as Nato will again peel off. It's Giacomo up to Edgecombe. Gets blocked by Rainers. Backtracks a bit. Still can't get through. Here's Riordan with a shot blocked by Frost. Nato with a chance. He gets tied up. Back to Rainers. Takes the shot, blocked by Frost again. Riordan tries to set her off a body. Chaos by the net, everybody. B body sprawling all over the place. Shot going high, another shot high. What is going on? And now finally, 
three on two the other way. Edge column crosses, De Piero. In the air, Riordan along with De Piero getting tied up, kicks it along in the boards. Hooks will play it around to Jacob Ennis, blocked by Di Giacomo. He'll loft it down off the end boards. Hooks around for Riordan. Centers for Ennis, tied up by Di Giacomo. Chance here for Edgecombe, can't get it on. Another chance, high and wide. Down he goes, I don't know why he went down. As Corrigan takes a look, centers up, can't get it on. Stevens, looking at the hooks, trying to go around, does force to the corner. Back he goes, looking for Barbado, can't find him. Di Giacomo, from the point. He'll take it, and that will just trickle wide of Cowan. Back to Valley. Stevens on a double team, can't get through, blocked. As Lane attempts to clear, cut in by Josh Hale. Hale the shot is blocked, attempted a second chance, can't get through. Barbado on a wide angle, goes along the glass and kept in. Stevens, Barbado and looks like Reord and it is. They go to the corner. In front of the big hog bench comes out Shepard and Valley. Shepard, the only big hog back. Looking in, trying to find some help, finds hooks with a bomb, and that goes high. <laughs> Just missed our official Popelka. Josh Hill getting double teamed by Shepard and Rainers. Rainers with control. Trying to go close up. Chance blocked by Mitch Stevens when Schaffner was down. Brought down by Barbado. Two on three. Trying to look for Derek Hill. Can't find him. Chris Young around for hooks. Tries to find someone. Can't find any. And it is an icing with 440 remaining in regulation. And now the pace really picking up. And the Big Hawks have called a timeout. Well, it has become apparent that the momentum has gone the Lock Monster's way. They have found more control with the ball than ever before in this game. The thing is, the Big Hawks have been getting a lot of face-off wins, so that's one issue that they've been having. They gotta find a way to win those battles. But now, they, uh, as far as the Big Hawks, thing is just to reorganize and just focus on getting possession. But we will say that John Cowan has been having a much better game than his first two, as his, um, as I've mentioned, his uh, save percentage has been uh, really not favorable. But I think he'll be happy with this game. He'll be even happier if he comes away with a win. Uh, the goal from Barbado, that's his first of the season, and we'll put him up to three points. And one by uh, the Big Hawks. Breaking through, trying to draw a call. He's not going to get one. Going back to Murphy, a shot save as that is lofted out of play. It's been a relatively clean game. There's only been one penalty, and that was against Kevin Frost for cross-checking. Back over to the boards. Frost does keep it in, up to Edgecombe. Shaking off Jacob Ennis. Backtracks back to Murphy, can't get it. Now the other way, it is Corrigan and Young. Turns it to a two-on-one. If he can settle the ball down and tries to bat it in, goes wide. And now Corrigan wanted a call. He's not getting it. 
It's like several times he's been looking for a call and it's just not going his way. Mayo attempts a shot blocked by Murphy. Di Piero tries to clear out, can't get it through. Frost will just put it up and it will be unless it hits Cowan. It, well, he's got to make a move quickly because here comes Murphy and he will get it away. Lane blows it down but can't get around Stevens. Stevens gets away from the double team trying to drive to net. Lost control to Ennis. Up to Lane. Cut off by Edge Coleman to left corner and now pinned up by Lane. Digging in and they're going to blow the whistle and we'll just take the face off with the clock stopping at 2.45. Again, both of these teams already had a, a tie earlier this season. If this would be something if this would end up as another tie. As Hooks goes up to NATO. Now stretches up, going for Lane. May have a chance, but poked away by Stevens. Turnaround shot blocked by Stevens. Back to NATO. Looking at Derek Hale. Now tries to go through center. Lofts it up, back to Hooks, he kicks it along. Trying to get it through to Nato, unable there, forced back. Riordan still on side, shot going high and wide into the corner as Valley takes a look, sees David Lane on approach. Derek Hale backhands it up. Race between Josh Hale and Shepard. Josh Hale wins the race. He'll have to get around three white jerseys though, try to center up, no one available. Oh, gave it away. Back it goes. Shot wide of the net from Derek Hale. Another chance wide. That was a big turnover by the Big Hawks. Now down the floor and it's an icing. Some close calls there after that turnover. I don't know if you realize that there was a blue jersey in the slot. With the clock stopped at a minute 43. Tie up goes to the Big Hawks. Stretch pass, no one there is another icing. But well, wait a minute, they waved it off. Did it hit someone? Everyone thought it was icing, but apparently it hit someone as we continue play. It's like everybody stopped thinking it was an ice. Here's a shot from Josh Hell going high. Rebound going wide. And a whistle. I don't know what for. But the clock again stopped at a minute 12. Let's go, boys! I don't know, off that wall. Tie up on the draw, and it will go to the Big Hawks. Ennis drives it through, gets it through the blue line, but has to give it up to Mitch Stevens. A minute remaining in regulation, off the boards, tipped along and over to Joey Murphy. Sees Chris Young and now plays it around the boards looking for Digiacomo. Giacomo reverses into the corner. Tries to center up, no one available. As Young takes control, but has to get around Murphy. Stretches up to Corrigan on a partial two on one. But they are offside. With 38 seconds left in regulation. Come on, boys. Let's go. 30. One by the Big Hawks, but they call false start. One by the Big Hawks, and it will be pushed into the corner. Kevin Frost taking a look and now gets the way over to Edge Cone, but return to sender back to Frost. Into the corner, Riordan takes a look. We can still get a winner here. As it goes back to Rainers, back to Ennis, shot is blocked. 
Take a look at this lane. Back to Rainers. 15 seconds left. Has Ennis as an option. Takes the shot going high. Rebound chance. None available. Reorient takes it up for the Big Hawks in the left corner. Back over to Nato on the board. Try a shot through traffic. Goes wide. Three seconds left. We are going to overtime. Oh, these teams are hungry for a win. And this is crucial. Now, in the case that we do end up in a draw here, it would be a three-way tie as far as points for first place. Won by the Big Hawks. Yes, well, I'm trying to look through the tiebreaker system and see how, how are we going to figure this one out? Because now everyone's going to be tied on points. How are they going to figure it out head to head? I got your back. As Riordan going to NATO, cut off by Josh Hale. Crosses over on the slap pass, blocked by Hooks. Hooks thinks about it, taken away by Hale, takes a couple of the sticks, gets away. Hale taking a shove, and now here comes Rainers the other way. Shot into the glass. Rebound chance, can't get it off. Tied up by Stevens. And Murphy clears it out to Barbado. Barbado holds up back at the blue line. He'll try the shot high in the net. Can't get a rebound. Gloved down by Chris Young around, but back to Barbado. Barbado with a shot blocked by Hooks. Resets, now goes back, shot, and a blocker save by Cowan. Come on, Here's a shot just wide of the net coming. I think it was from Joey Murphy, it was. Attempted shot from Stevens and a stick save by Cowan. Di Piero trying to get around Ennis. Di Piero holding on. Still waiting, oh. rolled off his stick. Here they come the other way, three on two. Back. Steve Nato has one of the goals. Slap shot, saved by Schaffner. He dives out and gets it away over to Mitch Stevens. Stevens thinks about it, drop pass. And tips it on, can't get a follow up on it. Back to Frost, shot, score! <laughs> What a game this was. Both teams really wanted that top spot. It had to take some extra time, but the Log Monsters just had the will to fight back, coming back from one goal each time. But this was one game to remember for the A Division. This could end up being our final, who, who knows? And of course, this will be a three game series at the end of the season, but the Big Hawks definitely had some positive stuff to think about coming out of this game but they will sit in second place in a tie with the whalers but they're still in a really good position as they go on to try to defend their title so with that we continue on with the fall season till then from xl sports world this is daniel wilson we'll see you next time around If you enjoyed this game, be sure to check out the other games here on our YouTube channel at Raleigh Street Hockey.
Also be sure to check out our sponsors at allblackhockeysticks.com. You can get an all black stick for just under $100. Not a bad deal. Also be sure to check out our other sponsor, Hagen Hockey, which has some great hockey equipment for you. In order to get free shipping, just use the promo code Raleigh Street Hockey.